Okay, I wanted to share with you guys the uh, Harbor Freight Chicago Electric 3-inch electric high-speed cutoff tool. This is my old one. And after about, I'd say about five years of good use out of it, it, uh, it barked out on me. I saw a flash on the inside. After that, it, uh, it starts to turn real slow, like it's, uh, like it's missing a, a field or a winding in it. And uh, it just, uh, it'll trip out the little breaker here. So I went ahead and uh, picked up a new one. And I wanted to share with you some of the differences that uh, are pretty obvious to see. One thing about it is, is that, um, you know, a lot of it looks the same uh, in regards to overall length and everything like that, but they are a little bit different. I think that shield might be uh, pretty close to the same, even though that the, uh, they are two different screw sizes. One thing about it is, is uh, this yellow button right here, I never knew exactly what it was on my old one, but this one actually has the uh, right there. I don't know if you can see that. It actually has the lock symbol. So once I saw that, I knew that it was actually a button lock for keeping it on so you didn't have to turn on the paddle. Um, I never actually knew what this button was for. I always punched it whenever I'd hit the reset. I couldn't imagine though the uh, anybody actually needing that. I, whenever you're holding it, it's, it's pretty easy even on the old one. Uh, the trigger looks like it's a little bit bigger. So that'll be uh, a little easier to um, to hold on to. You know, this is the reset button. Of course, now the new one, it's not labeled at all, but if you run this thing too hard and it starts binding up, it does have an internal breaker that will turn itself off. Uh, after you wait a little while, sometimes if it gets really hot, like if you've been doing a lot of cutting on it, uh, you might have to wait a little while before this resets. At least that's the way it was with my old one. And at least my old one had a, uh, you know, a little sticker on it that said reset. Uh, I've already plugged it in. It, it runs pretty good, pretty smooth uh, for a direct drive unit. Um, one thing that's kind of weird is it, it's got this weird mark on it. Like uh, during the manufacturing process for some reason. But uh, I've actually been using it to cut some fiberglass. But this is a great little tool for uh, cutting little things like uh, this, like, this plate or this bar right here uh you know if you need to cut a bolt down or you're cutting all thread i really like it i know you can just use a grinder with a cutoff wheel but since this is actually at a uh, 90 degree angle it makes uh going and cutting a, a little bit easier especially when it's on the vise i just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys the uh the differences this guy always kind of ran um it, i felt like the uh for the motor inside it it ran pretty smooth pretty quiet I mean, it should since it's just a uh, direct drive with no gearing in it. We'll try it out. We'll, we'll cut a piece here and we'll see uh, if, there, if I notice any differences. All right, so I got a piece of bar here that I need to go ahead and cut. I uh, just want to let you guys know to, uh, you know, make sure you're wearing your uh, eye protection, your ear protection. Make sure you're wearing your safety sandals um, like I am. So let's see how this guy works. I think actually it worked better than my old one. It's uh, it cut pretty well. You know, my my old one, uh, I had to be very careful about uh, how much pressure I put down on it because if it got bogged down, it uh, it trip out. So I wanted to share with you a couple of the differences on the head. The Allen screw on the new one is actually much smaller than the old one. The collar looks about the same size, if not maybe just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I, I think it actually is. The shaft for where you have to put the uh, your your wrench to uh, lock it in place this one the old one it's uh right down there at the very bottom this one it, it runs the entire length of the shaft so and those are pretty much your only differences you know besides uh that the wrench is actually the same so if you still have the old one you're going to be good with that you'll just have an extra 
but your Allens, they're going to be uh, two different sizes. So thanks for watching the video. Everybody take care. Bye.